The hippopotamus is amphibian. It lives on both land and in the water. We find it in most cases when we are doing canoeing, when we are doing the boat cruises, and also when we are fishing in the rivers. We find them emerging in the water because that's where they cool down their body temperatures or their skin after the heat of the day. When it's quiet, hippos get out of the water to go and graze. They can walk for about 4 to 5 kilometers or even 6 kilometers in search of the green grass that they can enjoy, especially during the dry season. We find hippos walking all the way. But in most cases, the hippos will use the same way that they use to get out of the water when they are walking back into the water. That's when they are very dangerous, when they find you in between their feeding place and the water. Welcome guys, this is the Ultimate Survivor Africa, the channel that comes from Africa, where we talk about things that happen in Africa. We talk about nature and conservation, we talk about uh, tourism and tourist destinations, we talk about uh, current affairs of Africa, the celebrities of Africa, everything that concerns Africa, that's what we talk about in our videos. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. Well, we continue. A hippo is among the dangerous animals, as I said. It has contributed to over 30% of the death of the people who are killed by wild animals each and every year. In most cases, people who are doing canoeing, they get uh, into danger of being crushed by the hippos. It's either their canoe is crushed into halves or they themselves are injured or killed by the hippos. The hippo has got a very, very, very um, sensitive tooth or I would say they have a very, very dangerous weapon in their mouth. That's the, their incisors. They are very sharp, very, very long, and they are very vicious. A hippo can open its mouth wide and can cut anything into halves. So you have to be super careful when you are in the rivers, when you're doing canoeing, or maybe you are fishing. And also those who love to play along the river banks, they have to be in the lookout of the hippos because sometimes the hippos will leave the water and they go and hide in the thickets along the river banks and also on the islands. So when you are walking there, you get a chance of seeing the hippo or of fighting the hippo. Well, as the hippos get out of the water to go and graze, they do it when it's very quiet. It might be at night or maybe in some dense um, national parks where there is less uh, people going in there or less vehicles being driven there. They can come out of the water during the day and they graze there. So using the same channel, if you are caught in between the water and their feeding place, that's when you get to be uh, injured by the hippos or be being beaten by the hippos. So you have to be extra careful not, be, not to be found along the paths of the hippos. All dangerous animals that have killed people, and sometimes they kill people because they are standing on their flight way. That's the way they use to run away. If threat or if danger looms behind them, they use it that very way and you, you are found standing there and you are in danger to be killed by such animals because they want to open the way for themselves to run away from the danger. So you have to be very careful not to, not to be found along the path of the hippo. Well, when you are doing canoeing, if it happens that you are, you see the pod of hippos or like a group of hippos, please make sure that you keep a distance when you are taking pictures. Don't get too close to a hippo. Don't get too close to territorial hippos. Hippos are highly territorial and they guard their territory jealously. So if you encroach too close, they start growling, they start making noise, sometimes they puff up the water uh, as a sign of aggression and also as a warning that you are getting too close. They open up their mouth wide to show the sharp incisors so that you can deter and turn around. But if you continue, they don't have any choice. They have to fight or they have to bite you. So you have to be careful, give a distance and enjoy your safari while you are in the water. Those who are doing um, swimming, you must swim in the river that you really know or in the pool that you really know. If you are not so sure, please stay away. And if you know that there are some hippos in that river, don't ever swim. Stay away. That's the only way that you can do in order to survive the hippo bites or being killed by the hippos. Fishing as well. 
we have people who fish in the waters like walking right in the waters using their drag nets or whatsoever method that they will be using you have to be careful of the hippos otherwise you'll be killed by the hippos sometimes you are fishing at night you don't even know the river that you are fishing in you just get yourself in the middle of the hippos and they will fight you as a way of defending themselves so let's be careful when we are in africa because we've got so many dangerous animals remember we've got the buffalo we've got the elephant the leopard the lion those are some of the dangerous animals that we have as well as the black rhino so those animals are super dangerous but they have never come to our houses to hunt people but we've seen people going in the national parks as the natural habitat of the animals and they disturb the animals because they don't respect the animals. If you respect an animal, it will respect you too. But if you try to be funny, to act funny in front of an animal, you are in danger of being killed by such an animal. So please, when we are in the national parks, maybe you are doing a self-drive or maybe you are walking in the national park, the walking tours as well, those are some of the things that causes danger in the lives of the people. If you're working with a group of tourists or your friends, like on a tour, like on a walk, you have to be careful not to get too close to the hippos, otherwise you will be killed by animals. Well, I hope you are enjoying guys. If you're enjoying, please give us the thumbs up, the likes, and please don't forget to subscribe if you have not uh, subscribed yet, and share our videos with your friends and family. What should we do if we encounter the hippo charges? What's the best method of avoiding or of dealing with the hippo charge? Number one, try by all means to find the higher ground, to find a log and climb on the log or maybe just jump the log and stand on the other side. Hippos with their short legs, they can't jump any obstacle. They have to walk all the way around to find a way so if you find a dead log just jump that dead log and then the hippo might stop right there and turn around and go back or else you'll be buying time for the hippo to walk all the way through around and up until it catches you number two if you have a chance of climbing a tree hippos do not climb trees just rush to a nearby tree and climb up the tree then the hippo will find no way of catching you. Number three, if there is a hill, rush to the top of the hill. The hippo won't um, climb the hill. But the worst thing that you might do is running away, turning your back from a charging hippo. In most cases, everyone who is being charged or who is being killed by animals are those who turn their back and start running because nobody has ever outrun any animal or any wild animal they are super fast they can go up to like 50 kilometers per hour that's the speed of a hippo so they can outrun a human being so be careful not to turn your back and start running you just back up a little bit while you are making gestures raising your arms and also shouting making some noise if there is anything to use maybe stones throwing stones and throwing sticks so that the hippo might be scared and turn around as you do that just back up with your group command your group if you are a tour guide or if you are a safari guide on a walking tour command your group to walk backwards like backing off a little bit up until you find the higher ground if it happens that you are in the water and you are doing a canoe safari and your boat is being cut into halves by a hippo please try to find the fast running water you know most of these animals don't like fast running water the hippo and the crocodile try to rush to the fast running water that's where you can find your refuge well while you're doing that one of the group members might raise an alarm or maybe call on the radio calling for help if you are many and one of your group members is being attacked by the hippo please try to shout out and make some noise throw some stones up until you save him in some cases they might be highly injured or heavily injured but you can still save their life you know what it's better to lose a limb than to lose a life so try by all means 
to uh, snatch your brother from a hippo not by pulling them but making some noise so that the hippo can leave them alone the major point that's the major way of avoiding the hippo attacks don't ever go to the rivers don't ever go to the rivers that's where the hippos are found if you do so you will never ever experience a hippo charge yes that found, sounds funny but if you're scared of something it's better not to do it so don't ever go to the rivers that's just a joke but guys what i'm trying to say let's be super vigilant when it comes to these dangerous animals a hippo is very very dangerous a hippo is very sensitive and highly territorial so they will do anything to guard their territory what type of hippos are very dangerous number one hippos with babies they are very protective they protect their babies by fighting whatever comes along their way number two the territorial bull or the baiting bull they are highly territorial and they guard their territory against anything that comes close sometimes they fight other hippos like other male hippos that comes to mate with um, with the females in the group so they don't want anything that gets into their territory both on land and in the water the hippo has got their territory wherever a hippo goes grazing especially the male hippo if it's outside the water they scatter their dung all over the bushes and on the trees and wherever like the tree trunks that's when they are defecating they splash and scatter their dung using their tail all the time they do the same in the water as well they scatter their dung all over the water and they leave their scent there also when we have a sick hippo or an injured hippo that one is very very um, defensive and uh, it fights anything that comes its way because it finds whatever comes as a, a threat so let's try by all means to avoid any kind of a hippo that we see because we don't know what has happened to them or their social structure well that's something that we need to learn guys I'm happy that you have chosen uh, the Ultimate Survivor Africa as your channel. Please, if you like it, continue giving us the thumbs up that will support our channel to grow. Share our videos with your friends and family and those who love to learn things about Africa. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, give us a subscription that supports us a lot. And please, if you have any comments, any questions, anything to add to, please go to our dis dis description box and leave a comment down there. If it is a question, we will try by all means to answer the question. And if it's something that you're contributing, please, we will be very grateful to share uh, whatever you have contributed. And for those who have their videos that they have taken themselves in Africa, be it of the dangerous animals or anything that is taken from Africa, please make sure to contact us using the email address that is in the comment box. And also, we have our phone numbers there. We'll try by all means to check whatever content that you want us to do or you want us to publish then we'll do so in our future videos please thank you for watching this is the ultimate survivor africa i'll see you in the next video